Hi guys. Hello everyone. Welcome back. It's a, it's a big box. I feel like we're hiding behind it. A little bit, but today we are very excited because we are opening Crown Hotel Austria. We haven't sort of heard too much about this game. I don't think it's probably one of the most popular ones, but equally we quite liked the theme of it, I guess, and the mechanic of it. So we decided to buy it at the Board Game Expo. So, um, from Lookout Games, it's a sort of 90 minute game, hopefully we'll see how long it takes us to play it. Two to four players. And um, essentially you're running a hotel in Austria and you're trying to sort of build the best hotel, fulfill orders and get paid for doing it, as well as get um, like the favour of the Emperor at the same time. Yep. So, all sounds very exciting and I mean, I kind of wanted to be a uh, hotel manager at one point in my uh, career, so this might actually tick that box for me. Interesting. I've never wanted to be a hotel manager, but I've always wanted to go to Austria. <laughs> different different roles, different reasons why I would so anyway, you, you run the hotel, I'll stay in the hotel. You just enjoy the scenery and the strudel. The strudel. Oh yeah, the strudel. So, this game came out in 2015. Uh, Excuse you. I know. How rude. Created by Simone Luciani and Virgilio Jiggly? Jiggly? Jigglypuff. Sounds like Jigglypuff. <laughs> Sorry if I'm taking the mic. Wow. That mm. is not much in there. I... It feels a little bit empty. So this is um, a dice and drafting game. You roll some dice and then you get to do chores with I those dice. Love I love how this is in tissue paper. Bit more of a eco-friendly way of uh, of having everything wrapped. Less plastic is always good. Absolutely. And we have, um, I mean, you say this, and then it's followed by a bag of bags. Plastic bags. I feel like this is definitely before game trays time. It feels like it. I mean, I know it was 2015, which was scary to think of uh, eight years ago. Um, so I get that probably hasn't been updated since. It does have a bit of, of a retro feel. But, um, so you're not a fan of the artwork, are you? Bit of controversy. So far, of what I've seen, I feel like I feel like the box or the color palette feels a little bit clashing. It just doesn't. I don't know. It just doesn't all feel like the colors go together. Like the blue tablecloth and this guy dressed in green. Well, let's be honest. You're not going to go to a hotel and go. I need to know their tablecloth colour so I can so match I can my match. outfit. I don't know, maybe it's just really <laughs> strong colours paired like a, you know, this guy dressed in blue, the really bright red, orangey sort of tablecloth. I don't know, it just feels like the colours don't, maybe it's just me, I don't know why. It's... It reminds me of this, yeah, Rosie, um, Uwe Rosenberg games. Okay. Like Vikings, um, Feast for Odin. It's that kind of vibe, isn't it? There is a very... Oh, like uh, Agricola. It's... Oh, it's, yeah. It's that, it's I see, that style I see what you mean. Yeah. I mean, let's not discredit this game purely because I'm not the biggest fan of the colour palette of all this. So, um... There's a lot of cubes. A lot of cubes. So these are coffee. Cake. Red wine. And strudel. Strudel. There you go. What we have some... Can you imagine if food was like that? Just cubes and you put it in your mouth there. Yep, that red, red wine, that. Lovely. That'll be the future. That's like space food. I'm... a bit... Ba not baffled, but it just all feels like there isn't much to this game. Um, so, we have a board probably hopefully it's definitely a board and a couple of player mats i think hotels your hotel my hotel so the gist of the game is to essentially fill your hotel feed your guests and send them to their rooms all happily you know fed and watered basically in so the hope that you're gonna, you know, they're gonna pay you for so you what draft, you've done. Draft the person. That person would want 
strudel cake and two red wines, I mean, she's going to bed happy. And then I'm assuming she would want to go in a yellow room. So you need to get your rooms occupied. I mean, your occupied rooms, rooms ready. Ready, hence the tiles. And when the little maid lady says the room is ready, then your guests can then go into that room. And then you get points on fulfilling what your guests want and you get points for putting them in rooms. And but if, you have to pay for the rooms and the rows, right? And if you're not good, you go straight into the bin. Oh, <laughs> there's a bin. There is like the biggest part, the biggest chunk of cardboard I here. I have no idea what that bin it's is for. It's a gigantic bin. So we've never played this game. We'll have we didn't look into it much before we got it. But I mean, it's been around since 2015 and I've heard good things. So it and was there it at the Game Expo, so I thought, why not give it a go? It has a pretty good score as well. It's like a 7.9 on BGG. 7.9 on BGG, correct. Which says that it could be promising. So yeah. oh, I'm excited to play this. I think, I mean, I definitely want to know what this bin is for. So we will find it's out. It's for bad strudel. For bad. <laughs> uh... Yeah, player boards, main board, lots of cards and guests and sort of tasks to fulfil. But otherwise, not much to it. Maybe we're just used to seeing really, really big games lately where we have about a thousand components mm. and a million cards and figurines and everything else. So this is like old. We've, we've been sort of like spoiled. We've been ruined by the games that we've been playing lately. Um, and a really interesting thing about this game is um, every player basically almost like plays as as two players. So every mm, yeah, I've heard you know, that. if you're playing with a three player game, you end up being first and sixth player, or you know second and fifth, third and fourth. And if you play a two player game, for example, one of us will be number f first, like well, it'll be the first one and the fourth one, whereas the other will be second and third. So it's, it's an interesting mechanic and definitely one we haven't seen so far in a game. As well as this number of dice. There is a lot of dice. And all the dice give you different actions. So you basically roll them and put them in the right category underneath. And then that will be the action you take with that dice. So once we figured this all out. That goes there, that goes there. So you'd only get three goes to make red wine or coffee. One go to make cake or strudel. Three goes to open a room. Don't know what that means. Don't know what that means. Don't know what... Well, that was a wild, wasn't it? Yes. But that's the gist of it. You get that many goes to do these things, to open up rooms, put people in rooms. Get points... For doing it. For doing it. For having a successful hotel and getting the favour of the emperor. So we'll give this a go. We'll uh, see... How well we get on with our little hotels. It's got a bum chin. The things that entertain Pete. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll probably do a first impressions. Um, yeah, for sure. And give you sort of like an honest review of what we think of this game because I feel like it's probably it's either it's either worth bringing back to people's attention after you know launching so many years ago. Yeah. Or maybe there is a reason why there aren't that many videos out there on it. We've had a quick look, and I don't think it's that popular anymore. There's not that many. Maybe we can change your mind. There maybe. is an expansion for this. There is potentially two. I think there's one that's already out, and then there's one that's coming out. Okay. Sorry. Let I know there's one called Let's Waltz. That's nice. Is that like the ball, the masquerade ball? I'm assuming so. Hmm. It makes sense. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's probably all there is to say about it at this stage. Mm. Um, we'll have to have a play. Yeah. May the, may the best one win. Me. May the best hotelier win. Thanks so much for watching. Thank if you for watching. If you've played this, please let us know. It will be interesting to see if anyone is still keeping an eye out for this game in 2023. Yeah. Or it's just us playing awful games. <laughs> yeah, potentially. But that's what this channel's for. We're still learning, we're still playing everything and basically catching up because we're still fairly new. Absolutely. So yeah. please watch, uh, subscribe, like, comment and follow along as we play Grand Hotel Austria. Mm. Catch you in the next one. Bye.